Hello everyone, welcome to Hands on AWS YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to host a static website in S3. For this, first we need to create your S3 bucket, then upload your website content into S3 bucket, then enable static web hosting on your S3 bucket. To perform these steps, you need to jump into your AWS console. I have already logged into my AWS console, so I will go to my S3 service. S3 service will be under storage option. So select your S3 option. It will take you into your S3 console. In my S3 console, I have two buckets are already there. I need to create a new bucket to host my website. So creating my a new bucket to host my website by choosing create bucket option, you can able to create a new bucket. I am choosing give bucket name as a Velaxi website and uh, this should be uh, uppercase sorry lower case and it shouldn't have any special characters and uh, I am based out of India I am going to create this one under Mumbai region next if you want to copy any permissions from the existing bucket you can choose this option but I don't want to do anything now and uh, if you go to next page it will show up the show up different options on your bucket i am not doing i am not enabling any of these options by default all are in disabled state you are hosting a website so this website should be visible for everyone who is accessing from the web so it should be read access for everyone who is accessing this website next step it will give the all the parameters whatever you have chosen in the review page and create a bucket now you could see your new bucket under asia pacific mumbai region and you created it on april 5th 2017 now jump into your bucket to upload your website content i don't have any website data so i have created two html files called index.html and error.html i will upload those two files into my bucket to upload you can choose upload option choose this option and uh, add files these are my two files error.html and index.html i have chosen two files and uh, go to next page manage public permissions as i told you it should be accessible from web you need to enable read access then we have three types of storage classes that is standard standard infrequent access reduced redundancy storage we will discuss in the next video about these options and the encryption the data whatever you store on s3 bucket if you enable encryption even though somebody hack in between it won't be understandable format for that you can enable encryption but we are doing testing purpose so i am choosing none as my encryption option and metadata nothing but what type of data you are updating we are not going to choose this option and you can review your option then upload the data i have updated two files into my s3 packet that is index.html and error.html as part of next step i need to enable static web hosting to enable static web hosting you need to go to properties of s3 bucket you can see properties of your s3 bucket over here so here you will have versioning logging static web hosting and a bunch of options you can enable but we are focusing on static web hosting by default it is in disabled state you can enable this one by selecting static web hosting and uh, use this bucket to host a website so i have already copied required data for my website and i should enable it now it is going to ask index document and error document index document nothing but if you are opening your website by clicking on this link you can able to go to by default whatever page you are going to upload here error document nothing but if your website unable to serve some data nothing but which is not exist in our website 
if somebody is trying to access that data then it will throw you an error that either the data is not available in our case we are going to give here index.html so that if somebody clicks on our endpoint nothing but your website link it will go to index.html by default and uh, if somebody is trying to access data which doesn't in my website which doesn't available in my website then it will go to error.html and save this option to enable static web hosting before saving I can click on this link sorry I can copy this link and uh, save this option now bucket hosting nothing but static web hosting is enabled on your bucket you can open up the new page new tab and uh, paste your link and you could able to see your error.html file sorry index.html file so you are able to access this index.html file and uh, if you are trying to access if you are trying to access which doesn't exist nothing but slash html two dot sorry index dot html index dot index two dot html this page is not there in my website so if i click it automatically reads error dot html page this is how you can enable your static website data in your s3 bucket if you have the existing or real web application static web application you need to upload your data here and enable the static web hosting to make it work now if you observe properties of static web hosting you could able to see your website link is something different but you want to convert this website link into a understandable uh, your website name nothing but you have registered a domain called uh, xyz.com that xyz.com should be able to view this content how to redirect that one we are going to see in our next video thank you guys and uh, if you like this video you can share and uh, you can also like our page if you need this type of videos more